hi there welcome back to our youtube channel and i know you're wondering where is andrew don't panic andrew is fine he's just taking a short break off youtube and i'll be here to help you every step of the way now my name is tamara from ecom expert and today i'll be walking you through how to add a how did you hear about us button to your shopify store first of all you need to know which of your marketing campaigns are working this is so that you don't keep spending a lot more money on marketing campaigns and not converting into paying customers so you need to know if your customers are coming from your referrals from which of your ads you know from google search organic search you need to know where to put more marketing efforts into and this how to how to hear about us button would help you a long way to do this the first step you have to do is log into your shopify store now that i'm all logged in i'm going to on my shopify admin page i'm going to click on teams i'm going to click on teams and I am going to duplicate our current, I'm going to duplicate our current teams. This is so that any errors I may make, if I'm not satisfied with them, I can always go back to, you know, remove them and still have my original team. Or if I don't like a line of code, if I don't like an app, I can always go back to my store and just say, I don't want this anymore. Go back to my original team. Which is why I would always advise that before you add a line of code, before you add a team to your store, you need, you need, need, need to first duplicate your team. My first step is going to be to create the how did you hear about us form field now to create this field i'm going to need to go to my online store i'm going to also need to go to teams and then from the actions click on edit code once you find the snippet directory you're going to add a new snippet and now you're going to save it as how did you hear about us you're going to name your new snippet here about us so i am going to name my new snippet here about us and I'm going to create that snippet. Once created, it will bring out a new form field where you can impute another line of code. Then you're going to copy this line of code. You'd find this line of code if you click on the link below, check our blog, or subscribe to our newsletter. You can get any of these lines of code included in the video. So I'm going to copy these lines of code. I'm going to copy them now. Once I copy them, I am going to now click on, I'm going to paste them and then I'm going to click on save. Remember to always save any to all. Please remember, you need to always, 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 always save any changes you make. Please do not forget to save all your changes. If not, it means all your efforts are in vain, which takes away the whole purpose. So now I'm going to, now that I've saved my line of code, I'm now going to, to include this snippet in my cart page. Now to add the how did you hear about those snippets in your cart page, you need to go to your sections and find cart liquid templates. Now, if you can't find cart template liquid in your sections, you can also find cart liquid in your templates directory. So you either go to the sections directory, find cart liquid template, or you go to your templates and then you find cart liquid. So I'm going to go to sections. Or here we have a cart template liquid. I'm going to click on cart template liquid. There, once there, I'm going to click, I'm going to find the closing line of the tag form, the closing form tag. So now I'm going to keep finding it. You can always do this using Control F, but for me, it's a lot easier to find this way. Oh, found it now. Now that we've found this line of code, I'm going to create go to the next line and I'm going to copy this the next line of code to include this snippet in my cart page next step you need to do now is to add your team settings for configuration to do this you need to go to your configuration directory and you need to find this um you need to find a setting schema so I'm going to find a setting schema in my configuration directory here setting schema and I am going to find the closing curly bracket. So I'm going to find the first one. Obviously, this is the first one here. And I am going to go to the next line immediately after the closing bracket. I'm going to post another line of code, which I'm about to copy right now. Found it. And then I'm going to paste. And I am going to click on save. Nah, as usual, save all your changes. Once saved, 
I would now need to make this form required. So making this form required means that before your customers check out or complete their purchase, they need to tell you where they heard about you. So this is very good to, as it makes sure that they always answer this question because you will add this to your store and they could also ignore it. But making this compulsory means that they cannot check out except they answer, they tell you how they heard about you. So now to prevent them from leaving, all you need to do is make the field required, as I said earlier. So in the settings directory, you're going to find click, you're going to find um, cart template liquid again. Cart template liquid again. In this, in this sections directory, cart template liquid. Then you're going to find this novidate attribute. I'm going to find novidate found it once you find novidate the next step would be to replace novidate with another line of code so as i said earlier you can find all of these lines of code by clicking the link below to subscribe to our channel to or you can also subscribe to our newsletters and then you know find this on our blog so i'm going to click on novidate and I am going to replace lovely dates with this line of code. So, and then I'm going to click on save also. So I'm going to go to my team editor. So I'm going to go to customize team and my team settings. Okay, finally loaded. So now I'm going to go to my team settings and I'm going to click on here about us hear about us and then i can see the form option so there's facebook there's twitter there's google there's instagram there's youtube so we're going to add let's add let's add referral and then let's add ecom experts to it so you can add as many options as you want in this situation and now we're going to enable form validation but on our end it has already been enabled so i'm going to save this once i'm done with that I'm going to go to any product item. I'm going to add to cart and I'm going to view my cards. Here you can now see the uh, how did you hear about the selection. So you have referral, you have e-commerce expert, you know, you have others, as many as you want. You can include this, all of this and that. This is Tamara from e-commerce expert signing out. See you next time. Bye.